Hey guys, um, welcome to uh, my video on uh, how to do a uh, 1950s housewife pin-up look. Um, so I've kind of uh, modernised uh, the style somewhat, um, just uh, kind of to suit my own tastes. Um, I have a lot of things that wouldn't have uh, been around in the 1950s, um, such as um, um, I have like some mascara under my eyes and a uh, and um, a bit of a white eyeliner to open it up as well. Um, I also have a um, brown lipstick on, which uh, wasn't so popular during the 1950s. It was uh, more about the, um, you know, the rouge and the crimson kind of lip. Uh, but for me and my skin tone, um, I like using um, a, a brown color. Now, I am by no means a makeup artist or a hairstylist. I just have a keen interest in, um, you know, old Hollywood and um, the fashion of that era. I just think it was uh, so classy and, and elegant and uh, I always wish that um, those styles were still around today because I'd love to dress like this every day, which might become a reality someday, but you know, it takes a lot of time to get ready. Um, so yeah, uh, here it goes. Um, my first uh, video on how to do a pinup look. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so first step, primer. Um, I'm using NYX. Um, it's uh, from the drugstore. It's really cheap. Um, also, uh, Makeup Forever is a brilliant primer if you're looking for um, a more, it's more expensive and um, higher quality as well, but this one does the trick too, so just put a, I usually put like one and a half pumps on my finger and then just put it on all the main areas, I like to make sure that under my eyes are very lubricated. Okay, so to start off with the eye base, we are going to use a lovely shimmery white. Mine is from a Dior set, but anyone will do really. That's the white right there I'm going to use. You can see I'm almost out of it. Um, I had a really amazing uh, white eyeshadow from Stargazer. Anyone in Ireland will be familiar with that brand. They do all sorts of uh, crazy colours, but their white is also excellent too, but I spilt it unfortunately. Um, but this Dior is good. So, just going to tap it on the eye. Uh, you want a good base on there. You can also use an eye primer too, but I figure we've already put on some primer, so you know, don't need to put on any more. And just kind of, no need to go up too high with it because this area up here, the socket is going to be colored in anyway. But just give your lid a good tap of this white. And then on the other side too. So once you're done with the white, um, we're going to really define our eye by using this kind of brownish color. Um, this is quite broken, but this is from Essence. It's really cheap. I think it's like two euro fifty. Um, anyone will do, really, to be honest. Um, I, I use this. This is a great kind of multi-purpose one. I use it for my eyebrows and uh, I use it for uh, eyeshadow as well. So just uh, we're going to use this uh, brush too. You see it has uh, an angle on it. So just tap it, tap, tap in there. And we start on the outer corner and just work our way in to the inner corner and the out and the in and just blend it in 
by the time we're finished blending here, you're not actually going to see much more of this brown. So, and then on top, I just <clears throat> put a bit more um, of the white eyeshadow. So. Just kind of squirrel it on there. It doesn't really matter in what fashion you do it because you're just going to blend it into the brown and it will give your eyebrows a nice lift too when you add on your brow pencil. Blender out, as they say. Blender out. Alright, so this is a e.l.f. A really cheap liquid eyeliner. Um, if you're in Canada, I would totally recommend this brand. Most of their products are $3.99, including this. And um, it's really, really excellent quality for the price. Um, you can find them in London Drug. So what I've been told uh, when you're doing the wing of the eye is from your bottom from your bottom line just kind of draw out as if it's kind of a continuation of that kind of and and just bring it in hmm Okay, not bad. Yeah. <laughs> and the same on the other side, so. For the pinup look, I love um, the, the lashes that are longer and curlier on the outer rim and then kind of uh, get shorter as, as uh, they go on the inside. Uh, I don't currently have these uh, so I've just actually cut up um, some lashes and we're just going to stick them kind of on the outer corner to give that sexy cat eye. So we have some nail or some eyelash glue here. I just like to stick a little bit on a q-tip. Less is more. Another trick is you can also blow on it. Okay, so this baby on the eye and I just kind of tap it on the outer corner for a few seconds to ensure that it stays on and then we do the exact same on the other side okay so now we're just gonna um, use some mascara you can use anyone you want really, I'm using Maybelline um, and we're just going to merge our actual lashes in with the fakes that we just put on so just, I like to curl or give it a wiggle I should say give it a wiggle on there so that you don't have any clumps in your mascara um. okay now we're just going to stick some uh, uh, white pencil under the eye and uh, this is known for making your eyes look a lot larger and opening them up particularly if you apply it to the corners so I'm just going to bring it up here a little bit and you can see that really opens the eye up and then on the other side too 
And then I'll bring it up. And there we go. Now, gonna have some brows going on. So, I just use, uh, this is a L'Oreal eyebrow pencil. Uh, super liner. Anyone will do, really. I just uh, like to kind of define them. Um, I don't do too much uh, plucking with my eyebrows. I used to be a devil for it. And uh, then I ended up looking a bit crazy from overdoing it. So I just let them kind of roam free now to do their own thing. And just line them as needed. So as you can see, I just draw the bottom half. And I draw the top half. And you kind of line them together. All right, good enough. Now, um, we're going to get on to um, foundation and uh, concealer. Uh, so for my uh, under eyes, I use uh, Bobbi Brown. Uh, this stuff is absolutely brilliant. It's called a corrector it's in light to medium bisque and I basically just uh, okay. oh, here we go yeah I basically just uh, use a concealer brush uh, tap it on there and uh, this stuff just really corrects whatever is going on under your eye especially if you have foundation over it it really I haven't really seen a product quite like it. Um, the Yves Saint Laurent Touche Eclat is also very good. Um, they're both in the same price range I would say. They're both uh, quite expensive but totally worth it because this is a new one. My last one uh, I had it for two years before that and I was using it consistently most days. So it's definitely worth the investment to hide them crazy under eyes. And now we're on to foundation. Uh, I'm using MAC Studio Fix Fluid. Um, really good full coverage for me because um, uh, I unfortunately um, suffer from acne. Definitely not as bad as I used to. Um, but uh, this is just very good for making my skin look like um, flawless. Um, there's also a very good one uh, for um, acne or if you've just you know troublesome skin uh, from Revlon um, oh I forget what it's called but it's the it's the high coverage one and uh, it's also excellent for uh, a very full coverage look on it cheaper than the Mac as well okay so now I'm just gonna put a little bit of um mascara um, on my bottom lashes and um, this is more actually of a 60s look but um, I guess this is kind of like uh, one of my trademarks um, I, I always have uh, mascara on my bottom lashes I just think it kind of really opens your eye and uh, you can see it uh, just gives it a nice kind of little definition there so now we're going to do some lipstick um, I like to use my MAC um, uh, it's a brown lipstick anyway um, pinups generally go for more of a, a crimson or a bright red lipstick um, but for me and uh, my own personal uh, pinup look, uh, I like um, you know bottom lashes defined, and I like brown lipstick. Um, I just feel like it suits my skin tone. Uh, but you can use whichever you like, whichever goes with your skin tone, your eye color. It is your preference, and um, be creative with it. So uh, I'm just gonna apply the lipstick on. Mm -mm. 
and then I just um plus I already did it sorry about that <laughs> my video cut off and I thought it was still filming but anyway um I just put a little bit of a this is NYC blusher uh, on my cheek area so I'll just pretend I'm doing it so you just tap it on the apples of your cheeks not too much not too little just kind of give yourself a little bit of a glow there and then the same on the other side and there we have our nice pinup look achieved and I'm just gonna smooth out my lipstick there look a little bit crazy <laughs> <laughs> 